Sometimes what we need to do now isn't what we know how to do. What is leadership's number one role in a company? Once the strategy is set, isn't it to get everyone on board and to get them committed to doing what they can do to maximize our results? Our job is to not put out the fire. Our job is not to solve the problem. Our job is to engage, empower, and support everybody else to do their job. 67% of companies across the world have challenges hitting their growth targets on a consistent basis. And that's only if you count it as being single-digit growth over a sustained period of five years. 10% nail it regularly and sustain it. And then 20% don't try. The reason growth is so elusive is that the enablers of growth are invisible. They found that a 1% increase in growth is going to generate four to five times higher return than a 1% increase in pre-tax profit margin. So the key to their success and yours is not to start with where you are, inside out, but to start outside in. What is the market telling us about what's happening and how does that match up with your unique strengths? And when it, you find that intersection between market needs and your unique strengths, that is your sweet spot for growth. Your data is your foundation. The decisions that you make about what you're going to invest in, how fast you can grow, what your customers think of you, what new opportunities can present themselves, are all hidden in your data, just waiting to be discovered by you. But how tempting is it? How easy is it to just say, we've just got to get it out. We've just got to make it happen. It is the deadline. We've got to go, go, go. And here's what I want you to do. And every time you tell someone, here's what I want you to do, what have you done? You've established that there's only one right way to do it, right? What if there were five better ways to do it? How many of you know what Moneyball is? About half of you, good. So that means you're baseball fans? Do you swing the bat and you swing it hard? And if you strike out, that's better than walking, right? That's the lore in baseball. So you want to be that home run hitter. You want to be the power guy. You want to be the one that oohs and awes the audience because you've sailed it way over the fence. But the fact of the matter is getting on base, and you can get on the base in a lot of different ways. You can get on with a walk, you can get on with an air, you can get on with a hit, it doesn't really matter. It's getting on base that allows you to score. If you've never thought about being 10 times bigger, guess what? You probably never will be. And if you think about being 10 times bigger, maybe you won't get there. Maybe you only get to two times bigger. But that's still a lot better than a couple of percentage points. 40% of your customers are profitable. And I can tell you that I work with clients where that is high. 40% of your customers are not profitable. And 20% are profit neutral. So I want to track those things that are drivers that are going to affect my sales dollars. The things that if I want to push the gas, I can make more of that happen. It's going to give me a good indication early on whether or not I'm on track to meet my sales goals. One thing I've learned is there's no prize for making things harder. In fact, I think sometimes the greatest gift that we can give our employees is to make it simpler. This may be the hardest part because the change starts with us. Our organizations are not going to change if we're not prepared to lead that change. If I could give you one piece of counsel, to help you improve your company performance, it would be improve your communication. Improve internal communication, lateral communication, improve hierarchical communication, improve communication with customers, improve communication between yourself, your drivers, your customers. Improve communication.